All right, it is 8.39 in the morning and we are headed to redrill a well deeper that keeps running out of water. So we had did this uh, for his neighbor a few years ago. I cannot recollect the job to save my life. I guess I'll remember it once I get there. Um, but we are taking the whole crew, two service trucks, the drill rig and the water truck. We have to go there, pull the well pump out, probably fill the well full of water first with the water truck to where it makes the well pump light enough to where we can pull it out. Once we pull the well pump out, then we have to put the line up tool on the drilling rig, line back up perfectly to that hole, level the rig up, and hopefully the drill rod is still centered to the six inch hole. The hardest thing to do is put the pendulum on the back of the drilling rig and line that thing up to a already existing hole and try to level up a drill rig and it still be centered. So that's gonna be a trick and I'll show you all that here in a second. Okay, so we are nearing the job site, and I don't think it was this road, but now that we're back here, I do remember this. So ironically, I made a video on this job. Um, I can't really remember what it's titled. I have to look back through, and uh, and, I'll, and I'll put it up. Here. Here, but um, this job, it was a hung toilet and the hung toilet drained the well dry and we were the third set of plumbers to come out on the job they had replaced the pump they had replaced everything they did everything and um we ended up drilling the well deeper to 465 and we hit a a, a buku of water i see dad's pointing at me over there but um yeah apparently we're right next door to the neighbor okay yeah we're drilling for this little white house right here with these trucks I'll get down here to where um, y'all can see the other house. So yeah, that was the house that we we worked on right there and the well was kind of like right there behind that center tree right there. Cool, there's the well we gotta work on. And I guess we gotta come right through here where my truck's sitting with the drill rig. Okay, we've made our assessment of what we want to do. I don't even know if you can tell the elevation change here. You can look at the porch and kind of understand how how the land drops. Well, that's a drastic, drastic drop for the drilling rig when you're trying to make the rig level to line up, you know, with that hole right there. And then you look here, we got a power line. We got the power line going across here, so we can't even, you know, set up right here where my truck is. And boom up that which would be the easiest way because of the power line um, we initially thought about going down there and then pulling up here really close to the house and backing up to the well but then all of the the yard below is going to be saturated and wet so when it comes time to back out and come back up a wet hill it's probably not going to happen so I decided the best thing to do would be drive right here across the rip wrapped and we'll back up across the rip wrapped here and then That'll be right there to the well. That's kind of our most level, our most level shot. So we're gonna do a little bit of trimming and get the well pumped out and uh, see if we can get in here without popping a tire. Cause I don't like driving across big rocks like that. Oh boy. Yeah, we got it. We got across it. That's good. I wanted to make sure we were gonna clear these power lines that are above us here. Yes. Yes. So I kept looking up, kept looking up. I'm like, all right, we gotta be, we gotta be, we gotta be. And uh, luckily we got lucky. <laughs> okay. But the well is dry right now, so we gotta go ahead back the water truck up and fill that up before we can pull this heavy pump out. Pour it out. Perfect. Good. All right, we got the pump out. It's got a Grunfuss SQ in it. That made it a whole lot easier to come out on a three inch pump than it was a four inch pump. But when a well is dry, all the water inside the pipe makes the system a lot heavier. 
so once you fill the well full of water the water inside the pipe now becomes buoyant and there is no weight so the system was only like 10 or 15 pounds once we filled the well full of water with the water truck all right i'm out of breath so now what we gotta do is line up that pendulum right there mike you got a penny or a dime in your pocket with all right this here we're gonna back this thing up So tedious. Every time you stop and go, the pendulum swings. It makes it hard to line up with that tool. <clears throat> and once we level the rig, then the pendulum changes. So now he's gonna tell me to straighten my wheel, I bet. But you have got to be spot on with this thing. Because you're sticking a six inch bit inside of a six inch hole. So you don't have much room for air. You have about three quarters of an inch you can be off. And with that amount, you can adjust the level of the drilling rig, which moves the bit over. Back up that much. All right, I got two foot to go. Damn legs getting tired of holding this brake. You know, it's crazy on the videos, the elevation never looks as bad as it really is. All right, six inches, he said. You wanna try it? All right, he says I'm spot on. We're gonna try it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Time to level it up. Cool. Oh, yeah, you're right on that penny. That looks good. Hey. Said that's his penny now. Oh, it's his penny. It's a lucky penny. Oh, you should have turned it over. Then it'd be lucky. Really? Is it tails up? Yeah, tails up. <laughs> All right. We'll see if we get it first shot.
over the rear. Sit. That's really low, that's good. So we've got 45 minutes before dad has got to leave. So it took us about two and a half hours to set up. The grade of the land does not look that bad, but we understand the amount of stress that gets put on these pads. And the worst thing you could have is a pad failure and your rig tip over. So that's why we put so much wood underneath it and we took the front tires off of it to keep that rig as low as possible can't afford to turn over a $700,000 machine. All right, we are at 405 foot. We make one gallon per minute. So because we know that that well on that house, we drilled it to, and ironically, they still have our sign there. Um, we drilled that well to 465 foot and it makes 20 gallons a minute down there around 440. So we'll come back here on Monday and we'll continue to cut this hole deeper until hopefully we hit that large volume of water. But if not, we'll cut it to 600 foot and then we'll hide your frack it.
All right, it is the following Monday morning, and uh, we've had a little bit of rain, a little bit of storm, but uh, we're headed out here now to load up drill rods. We're gonna carry this thing a little bit deeper. Okie doke, we're gonna try to get this thing out of here. It's gonna fall off the six bys, and now he's gotta cross the ditch again. <laughs> A little bit of crunching action. Cool, eight gallons a minute. Time to put the well pump back in. See if we can look down, look. Well's already full. All right, pump has been installed. Everything's been hooked up. We've been hustling, no time to film. But we are good to go. Well, we finished for today. It's a uh, quarter after two, and we are finally back here at the shop. We're gonna unload some drill rods, but overall success um we took a well that was originally 200 foot made a half gallon a minute and we took it to i think 485 foot and now it makes eight gallons a minute so that's like a over 15 times increase of water so really good day but if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up see y'all on the next one